We're doing it. Time to suffer. Where's the game? There's the game. Okay. So I just got through the ruins of Vina and it was really rough. And now I'm in Makai and now there's more dungeons I have to go to and they're gonna be rough too. So we're gonna pick one and we're gonna make some headway. And that's pretty much the plan for today. I don't really have anything else exciting to say. So let's let's play the video game, shall we? So here I am in Makai City. Romantic. So I can go either east or I can go west. There's no one here. So, well, one's on fire and one's not on fire. So I'm pretty sure the one that's not on fire, that's my, and the one that is on fire is Yuki. So let's go to Yuki. Great. Fallen Temple West. It's too hot. It feels like your body is set ablaze with every step. What does that mean? Uh, it means you take four damage every step. These are kind of intense. Holy shit, dude. This place is crazy. Yuki's new. Do I have a... Um, I don't have room for her. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have room for her. I didn't even consider this. Well, guess I'll kill them. I don't remember what they're all weak to. I'll, get, I'll come back. They're probably weak to ice. Well, I mean, at least Yuki is. Okay. I'll get her. But she is weak to ice. I remember. Yeah, that'll work. I'm leaving to clear out my inventory. So that's why I'm not really worried about blasting like insanely. Okay. Just got a couple steps in, you know? a couple steps in. Alright. 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 Let's go. Let's go do this. Whew. So, Chad, I had a... I had a pretty jam-packed, busy day. Unfortunately, I, I made the foolish decision. I didn't get eight hours like I planned to. I, I was watching I was watching Final Fantasy 7 because I I'm invested. But he didn't even do any story last night. He just played fucking card games. No actual story was done. I could have went to bed, but I didn't because the card game story was I was enjoying that. All right, I think I checked all my fusions possible from this. Yeah, so I think it's a matter of just, uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to grab from these ones. Mioi was whatever. Ellie didn't have anything I wanted. Luis didn't have anything I wanted. Mima had debilitating aura, which is kind of neat. I'm wondering about that one. Defense. It's a defense drop every time they attack. No, I don't think I want that. I can get it later, maybe. Alright. Wait, who's the lowest level? 72, 1200, 73. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay, it's done. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice. Here you go, Jun. Eat up. Consume. Luis. Yeah. Chunky number. And Mima. Okay. 
There we go. Three spots open. That should be enough for whatever's gonna be in there. Makai City. Let's do it. Let's go back. I might as well make a save just in case. Yeah, no, I had a busy day. I didn't get my eight hours, but I feel fine. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna try and get those eight hours tonight. Probably won't do anything tonight. I have, I have a plan what I want to do tonight. But I'll probably sort that out first. And then tomorrow, chat, I have, uh... Tomorrow I have day two. Or I guess technically day three. Or technically, technically day four. Of my, uh, dumbbells routine. And I'm... I'm simultaneously afraid of it, but also, like, looking forward to doing it. Because the way I see it... If I do this right, if I do this the way I'm supposed to... I'm gonna look pretty good. So we're gonna do our best. But it's only been two days. Alright, come here, Yuki. And now... We bullet hell all over the damn place. Uh, kill one. I think they can cover, can't they? That's pretty good. Let's see. Sarah's just got so much HP. Oh, oh that's a little bad. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. So I made a made a mistake. That's alright. We're gonna rectify this. We're gonna rectify this. Easy. They're much higher level than my, my goon squad. Okay. Lily, I need your revive. They're, they're a higher level than my uh, party by quite a large margin, I think, at this point. Okay. Probably look at Yuki. Yeah, so she's fire. I remember that. She's got the amp over buff. Heels on fire, weak to ice. High intelligence, high magic. But which one that took the fire and magic? Tell with my that picked the Kai from Unwanted Visitors. Hmm. I developed my routines. So originally my routine was what I learned from people I went with. But the current routine that I have, the dumbbell routine, I got it from a YouTube video. Oh, uh, no. I got it from a YouTube video. And it's pretty good. It does hit every part of your body. That's the plan with the routine. What the hell? Connects? Okay, that's weird. It's just hefty. It doesn't seem like a lot at first. And then it's, and then it's a lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even do the whole routine properly. But I can do, I can do enough of it to constitute a victory. I can do enough to constitute a victory. Okay. Now, the interesting thing here is I could realistically change... I could change my, uh, stat spread to be... Or I can grab Yuki and make my attack, my spread, like, immune to fire. And Sumerak will probably never die. Okay. So there's, uh, my YouTube recommended looks like this nowadays. Um, I have art tutorials. I have exercise tutorials. I have 12 hour VODs for white noise. And maybe I have something in between. 
that I clicked randomly one day and now YouTube's like, hey, I know you want that again, right? I know you want more of that, so here's more of that. Oh, party. Summon. Summon Alice. Bring her back. That's okay. That's still okay. That's still okay. He met he. Oh yeah, it's just desperation. Okay. I like the music in this place quite a bit. Very intense. Thankfully it's not too bad. A little annoying, sure, but... It's alright, mapping it out ain't too much of a big deal. We'll get it done. The soundtrack for the Nickelodeon Movie 3 in my recommended. Dude, my recommended sometimes chat every now and again you just get these really weird videos you notice that they just have like three views and they say shit like they, they're like just complete gibberish or they're like the world is better off without you it's like what are these videos man what the fuck are these why are you recommending me these Straight nasty. Yeah, it's so weird. A lot. Of, there's a lot of times where I just randomly get recommended a. Uh, I randomly get recommended something from uh, from a, ch a channel that just has like very, like no real traction, and I can appreciate what they're trying to do. They're like putting channels that have basically no shot in hell against the algorithm. In, in like in places so you're like you, you acknowledge them I can respect that to a certain extent uh oh uh oh okay good turn but I'm not terribly interested in clicking them that's all but I think that's a better solution than just never doing anything for anyone ever because that tends to be how it feels sometimes there's an attempt but it's not like they can make people click your stuff right in mind you gotta get lucky success is a firework I keep getting a recommended videos called embryo Wallace I've never gotten anything like that but I have gotten a lot of different things that are just like what even is this how did this find me? Okay. This place is kind of stinky. Yuki's fire attacks do a lot of damage. Hmm. Well, at least we're getting map completion. It's always the third video on the sidebar. Dude, you know what? You're actually fucking right. You're actually right. You know what, chat? I'm gonna go on YouTube right now. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click a video. All right. Here's my. Here's the video I'm clicking. Uh, here's everything you need to know about Mavado. I I clicked it. Okay. So, the top, the top recommended is uh the new Internet Historian. The second video is pretty good Pokemon in RBY by Reverend and then the next video is completely in Japanese it seems like it's Smash Brothers it's a YouTube stream VOD by a Japanese person 41 views streamed five hours ago okay and then I scroll further down further down further down and it's all juicy recommended stuff but the next video that shows up, way down at the bottom, is Hostile Work envir Environment. Two views, 21 minutes ago. Um, what is going on here, man? 
It's like, what is going on? Alright. I don't want to fight the trio, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Big electrocutie. Guess we're doing it. Okay. That could be bad. Oh. Alright, well, I got the fire flinger out at least. Honestly, not that bad. I'll just heal with Sumer Echo. Quote a random part of a Let's Play with 21 views. Well, chat, give it a try. Click a random YouTube video and see what you get. <laughs> I got a five hour VOD. Or a two and a half, like a three hour VOD of Smash Ultimate. My third video on the sidebar was my Toho Mahjong Part 2 video. Hey, that just came out and probably has like 30 views. So that one counts. <laughs> that counts. We stay winning. Hmm. Okay. I'm afraid of Yuki, so Yuki has to die. Okay. The video on Lost Media sidebars. Two more Lost Media videos. A video I was in the middle of watching. And part seven of a random Let's Play with no views. It's almost kind of spooky. It's, it's almost kind of spooky sometimes. Like, imagine, imagine if someone at YouTube decided to play an ARG with the algorithm. Just because they could. The empty streets of YouTube. Things are getting kind of dangerous here. But it's okay, because I trust my party members explicitly. My party is actually kind of weak to fire. <laughs> so, I'm playing a dangerous game here. Alright. Back to work. Hmm. For me, it's what do we want from the next Mario Kart? That's a good question. What do we want? Wiggler? I don't want Wiggler. This whole section was a waste of time. Oh, that's the nature of these tempels. Triple Yuki. Third video is Why Are Things Creepy by Vsauce. Holy shit, that's fucking on the nose. I got a one hour long video three days ago. Its title is just nothing but random letters. Yeah, I got a couple of those actually. Just straight up gibberish. Maybe there's an anime character on there and there's like five views, maybe. And it's like, I'm not clicking that. I don't know what that is. I'm not clicking it though. I don't watch VTuber stuff either, but it, 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 it manages to figure out how to get into my algorithm all the time. I don't, I don't know how it gets there, but it does. There you go. Break core is not real. <laughs> no, that's not real. I'm broken. When did this start happening anyway? This this is like this has definitely been happening for a couple months at this point, but no one really talks about it. But it's definitely a thing that's happening on YouTube. It's like we just kind of all became fucking adjusted to it. Great room. 2020? No, I don't think it was that or like long ago. I feel like it was just last year, to be honest with you. Oh, man. Hmm. Chat, did you ever listen to Nightcore? This is a judgment-free zone. So if you say yes, I won't judge you out loud. But did you ever listen to Nightcore? Goodbye, Alice. You're dead.
I love when they attack Nikatia. Oh. A little scary. Good crit. Only if it was part of a silver gun rent. Good answer. I didn't understand Nightcore because to me, who grew up on Elvin and the Chipmunkies, uh, Nightcore just sounded like chipmunk singing. So calling it Nightcore, to me, calling it Nightcore was the equivalent of the whole their action figures uh, deal, where you're calling it something else, but it doesn't really change what it is. But you, you, you call it something else because it makes you feel better about it. And I'm just like, all right, man, whatever. But to me, it was all, Nightcore was just Alvin and the boys. Oh, I got away. I was already mashing. Holy Jesus. All right, I'm gonna explore that like bit in the middle and then I'm gonna leave and come back refresh my MP and Go to the obvious way. That's correct Okay I've listened to so I don't even know what qualifies as breakcore to be honest with you. I That's like that sounds like a made-up genre to me it Sounds made up Juicy para. Alice, you can live. I believe in you. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I believed! Now, look how much fucking EXP these things give me. Crazy electric drum beats. Oh, like Crazy Frog? Is that what Crazy Frog is? Is Crazy Frog break for? He does go bing bing. It's pretty insane. Sometimes I wonder if the things I say like just really piss people off. But they, they, they can't... They watch on YouTube, so they can't tell me how much it pisses them off, but the things I say just infuriate them to no end. <laughs> hmm. You know what I've come to like as a genre? 80s Japanese pop. That that genre, I kinda I kinda dig that shit. I mean, the telephone song is a classic, but then I listened to more on my own. And I was like, all these songs are just like a bop. They got so much, they just got so much energy, man. They're great, like finger snapping good goodness. You're not the one who heals me. Where's the pink one? Crazy Frog is its own category. What do you mean Crazy Frog gets to be its own fucking genre? No. What a Crazy Frog do to deserve that? He binged all over the place. Pop pop, chicka chicka, chicka chicka wa wa. City pop, crazy core. Now that's a good name. Hmm. Apple. Okay. The fact that we can recognize it. Is proof enough that deserves a category all to itself. Not an incorrect observation, but one I'm not happy to have been made. Do you think some people. Do you think some people see the Crazy Frog songs and think that Crazy Frog wrote them? Actually, chat, you remember the Gummy Bear song? Do you remember that? Do you remember those ads where it played a fucking awful song and they were like, want song? Text this to number on your phone and you'll get this as a ringtone. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. I don't know the rest of the song, but gummy bear.
I I remember that. I remember. Hmm. I mean, we can listen to Yoshi Core. Yoshi Core is always pretty good. <laughs> Stella. Absolutely Stella. Beautiful. Beautiful. Print it, ship it. Oh, I got a free turn. I'm gonna explode on you. Insane behavior. Simply the greatest to ever do it. I mean, Yuki's probably over here. Let's get that tile sorted. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. They were charging for funny animations for your phone. I don't remember that, because unfortunately I am not 50,000 years old. I know, I had a flip phone. Uh, a Blackberry. No, sorry, it wasn't a flip phone. It was, it was a, it was a, touch, it wasn't touch screen, but it wasn't flip. It was an old phone. It's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad phone. But you know what? It did its job. Ellie hasn't cast her physical reflect all day, and it, it worries me. Yeah. What do you mean, go up? Oh. Wait a minute. Alright, I set up my teleport, so now I'm going to clear out the bottom floor. Christ, man. There's so much floor! I'm going to have ads and magazines for images you could send over the phone or whatever. I don't remember this because I, uh, I, I didn't really have a lot of magazines. I remember the, the issue in Nintendo Power that showed Pit coming to Brawl. That was in my uh, school library. Same with the one that uh, showed Samus returning to Brawl. I was like, who the fuck is Pit? I thought it was like Link. He looked like Link to me. They don't make advertisements like they used to, that's for sure. Oh, Alice, hanging on. Sarah's weird. She's like a tank, but she's pretty fast. They used to have all kinds of, uh... They had all kinds of different, uh, adverts. Back then! I say this like I was a part of this, but back then they really had a, there was a lot of less restriction on what you could and couldn't do for an advertisement, huh? Like, I, I, I watch uh, Vinny's like commercial chaos and I watched the recent one he did about uh, with magazine ads and it's just like, damn man. They really just, they just say some shit sometimes and you just gotta be like, whoa. Like they weren't afraid to tell it like it isn't, but they would say it like it is. Sorry, I'm drinking water. Ugh. Ah. I need water in my system. Chat, my whole body is still like exhausted. I mean, standing around at work certainly didn't do much for my legs, but 
I definitely feel like the muscle soreness in my the entire body. <laughs> There's no part of my body that doesn't feel like okay, which is great because the whole point of the workout is to hit everything. So if everything is sore, it means I was doing something right. That one Yoshi's Island commercial where the dude fucking blows up. I don't remember that, actually. But something tells me that was probably on uh, Commercial Chaos at some point. connects because it's gonna be annoying to walk to. Alright, let's, let's find out. Alright. Even like critics would say things. I remember like the, the adverts for two worlds. They they were they were like they were really hyping that game up. They called it Oblivion on steroids. Which wasn't true. Well, it was half true. That game was most certainly Oblivion on steroids, but I'm afraid the game was kind of in the phase of steroids where, you know, your balls disappear and you're prone to outlashes. Basically, you're just, you've been ruined by substance abuse. That's what Two Worlds was. So that critique wasn't even incorrect. That guy was right, which means it wasn't false advertising. He just didn't specify what part of the roids we were at. The part where you immediately, you get a, uh, you know, your shoulders become abnormally large. Chat, when you juice, parts of your body grow faster than others. So you like fucking degrade. It seems scary. Not a secret room. It seems scary, man. Like you just, people do this. People do this get like huge for reasons and then it like destroys them their bodies your testicles shrivel up and you look so big but I'm sorry to say chat but it's it's kind of obvious when somebody's on the substance it's it's actually kind of obvious there's a limit to how your like big your shoulders can get naturally and there are definitely people who have shoulders that go very very outwards that's one of the easiest ways to tell but you're not gonna walk up to somebody who's on substance and be like hey bro you on substance you're not gonna do that because most people have a sense of self, like self-preservation. At least I assume they do. I see people in the gym like that. You you do see it. I'm not trying to be a judgmental Andy, but there are some people who. They, you know, you know the old meme. You know the old meme about how uh, about leg day, never skip leg day, hee hee ha ha. Well, there are definitely some people that you'll see in the gym, and they are built like a house, in the way, in in the sense that their upper body is like very large, and then they have no. They don't really have any muscles in their legs. That's why you can't skip leg day. It's very important that you stay, uh... There was that guy who told people to eat raw meat. I don't know that guy. I remember there was a guy who was, um... There was a guy who apparently was like, he I don't know, he was on 4chan or something, and he made a really like all-inspiring post about uh, about working out, and it turns out he was a substance abuser too. So, <laughs> whoops. But hey, his message was at least good. Gotta give him that. 
Okay, well, one of these was at least an item. Big Juicy EXPs. Mr. Liver King. Hey, he was, he said something inspiring, but then it turns out he was doing that, so like, uh-oh. Tell you one thing, Chad. I'm not here to get on people for what they do and don't do. Attack up, agility up. Cool. It's not my business, but like, there are significant risks involved with doing it for the sake of looking large and in charge. And to me, I, I that's just uh, it's not something that interests me, of course. Even if it was, I wouldn't. I would say the same thing because it's you, you know. So you can't be doing that. That's illegal, you know. Hit them all. But I guess uh, people have different ideas for like what they want for their body. Some people want to get really, really big. Some people just want to be healthy. Some people want to look, like, good. There's a lot of different reasons people have for getting into shape. And for me, it's definitely not about looking, like, uh, I don't know, that. Sure, I, I want to I wanna have muscle definition. I want to look like I work out, you know? But I'm not trying to become the beast man the beast man of Halifax, you know? I'm not trying to go bear mode. He turned into a complete ghoul from the muscle juice. See, that's scary, man. That's scary. So is it really worth it? Because sure, you look huge, but you also look like... You look kind of freaky. I don't think that's good. Oh, Alice, you're dead. She'll come back in time. The only, uh, I drink, um, I drink protein shakes. And by that, I mean I have protein powder. That's like the only thing I use. I mix it with some water. I mix it with some water or milk, and then I drink that after a workout, and that's that's the only thing I do. That's very slight. It's a very slight thing, but there's like pre-workout and stuff like that. I've tried pre-workout. Fucks me up. Bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. I drank it before, and <laughs> it, uh... Well, it, it didn't really hit me during the workout, and then it hit me when I tried to go to bed. So I didn't sleep, and I went to work in the morning, caffeinated up. It was really bad. Ugh. Alright, memory ball, bring me back. We're in the Fallen Temple, floor two. Give it up for floor two! Oh god. Could be worse. That's the physical reflect. That's annoying. Targeting Jun for the heal is pointless. That's fine. We're all gonna attack that one. Nice. Bang. Dead. It's over. I think Sumerak goes faster than these ones now, so I can get the jump on him. Alright. 
back to it. Oh, goody. I'll show you. I'll show all of you. You know, chat, I haven't, like, I mean, the, a picture of me doesn't really exist and hasn't on the internet for the last, like, five years. You know the picture that's on my Twitter profile? You know that picture is, like, five years old? That was taken when I was, the, the like, 22. That was Ultimate's first Genesis, I believe, was that picture. But, uh, I don't look that different, so I've never bothered changing it. That was a nice picture, so I used it. Put those gamer headphones on, looking at the screen. Focused, unperturbed, simply gaming. And I was like, nice shot. But I need to take a I need to take a picture of myself. I wanna do that for my uh, my routine. Like every time I do it, after I do it, I wanna take a picture of myself to show like progress and then see as it gradually changes. But I have a little bit of definition. It's very slight compared to what it used to be. But, for example, I have, uh, my traps. The area around my traps, you can see, uh, you can see the gaps in there. It's not, like, super big, but there is, uh, there is a bit of, like, definition going on around my neck and shoulders. Which is cool, because that was definitely never there before. That said, it's one of those things that you don't really notice when somebody's wearing a shirt, so, you know. Such is, such is life, I guess. My arm doesn't feel different than it, uh, that it ever has, but I can definitely lift more weight than I used to be able to, so obviously something has changed there. I'm not really a good judge of, uh, of this kind of thing, but I figure having a picture in my face every day you could actually see a change. I took one picture a year ago uh, that I have when I like started, but I don't think there's much of a difference in that picture to what I am right now. But I'll start doing it for this this workout. Good incentive. I mostly want to prove that it works. More so for myself than others. But it'd be cool to have a tangible, like, progress for it. Oh. It'd be cool to have tangible progress for it. And show that it really works. Because I feel like a lot of the times, people tell you that they're doing something. And you feel like, that doesn't work. You're lying. I feel that way all the time, man. But you watch, like, tutorials and stuff by professionals, and they're just like, yeah, this works. And you, and you try it, and it doesn't work, and you're like, you fucking lied to me. How did you lie to me? Because you couldn't do it. So, it'd be nice to actually see somebody do it and actually prove it works. A lot of people can get inspired by different things. But I think a big thing that would be, like, the, the, the most inspiring thing is is actually seeing somebody you know do it and have it pay off. I've seen people on keto. I've seen people on the, uh, do the keto diet. And they, uh, they lost a lot of weight. And it's like, holy shit. That one works. They can vouch. They literally did it. And they are quite visibly different. They have reduced size quite a lot. And that kind of thing takes a lot of fucking, like, mental commitment. For sure. It's hard to diet. Made a big difference, but only because I started so unbelievably little. Yeah, I started really small as well. <laughs> 
Like, I had some weight, but not like any real muscle definition. I'm not as skinny as I used to be. Uh, so, yeah, but there was a lot of, uh, early on for me, there was a lot of not challenging myself for sure. I didn't go as hard as I probably should have. I took breaks, like, very wishy washy type of deal with it. So, I definitely lost some. I lost some gain from that for sure. That's why you gotta stick with the regiment. Don't give up. It's just really easy to give up on yourself. Like, really easy. Like I said, instant gratification, you don't get it. It takes weeks for things to actually start to change. But all you feel between before that change happens is, am I doing this right? Is this actually working? I can't see it doing anything. All I feel is pain, I'm gonna stop now. And then you stop, and then nothing happens. And it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy at that point, where it's like, see, look at that. It doesn't do anything. Like, because you stopped doing it. You literally stopped doing it, and then nothing changed. And then you decided that that was proof that you should, uh, that it was good to stop because nothing, nothing came of it. Like, motherfucker. That's not how that works. You know the whole, like, Shia LaBeouf meme? The whole Just Do It meme? That... That meme is goofy, for sure. But there's actually a decent amount of truth to the idea of it. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. I swear. Oh, they all use their defense increase. Okay. There are a lot of times where you really just uh, feel like not doing it. And the only way that you can get yourself to do it is to just do it. You gotta go full manic depression mode. Just fucking scream at yourself until you do it. Get them like, ah. I don't really want to do this today. Yes, you do. You're gonna do it right now. You basically have to create two yous. The you who wants to do something and the you who, uh, who's going to do that something. And then you fuse them together and you create, uh, you create your inner conscious that's voided out on desire. So when your little, uh, little devil shows up and tells you that you don't have to do anything today, it will literally get its ass beat and then you will do it anyway. It's crazy. The level's not high enough for the fusion. That's called making excuses. Don't be looking for reasons to escape that. Don't be creating hypotheticals that get you out of the situation. Yeah, I've seen big people. I... I mean, the guy who got me into the gym to begin with but I mean he was a big guy anyway but he like he was a big guy in the sense that he was he's tall and weighty but he turned all that weight into muscle and now he's a he's a big guy he's a big fucking guy it's like holy shit look what he can do hmm For you. No. He's big though. Some people really do have amazing work willpower and work ethic. Honestly, chat, if you see somebody who's like working towards something and they actually start producing results. Like, if you look at that in any other way other than, like, sheer awe, 
And that, you know, like, what, what are you doing? Imagine seeing somebody working uh, towards a goal and, like, thinking they're not going to do it or they're going to give up or uh, one thing or another. But basically, you are, you are assuming that they are going to fall flat on their face because you would fall flat on your face and you want to see somebody else fall flat on their face because it makes you feel better about yourself because you're a pathetic human being. But then that person actually sticks with it, actually produces results, and the only thing you feel after that is bitterness. For some reason, you're bitter. You thought the whole time that they were just gonna fail, and then they didn't fail, and you get mad about it. You get mad that they didn't fail. You got mad that they stuck with it, succeeded in their goal, did something with themselves. That's the kind of thing that I, I don't I don't I don't think I could engage with somebody like that, man. That's all mega depressing. He'll never succeed. Man, I wish I could succeed. You didn't even do anything. You literally just shit on the guy who was do, putting in all the effort, and then when he actually the effort paid off, you just went full fucking self-depreciation mode. I don't even know what that meme is, but I, I also know what that meme is. Come to really respect people who put in a lot of time and effort into something they want to do. I mean, before I, I still thought it was... I never thought it was something bad, of course. But I think, like... When I didn't do anything at all... Like, legitimately, I did nothing. That's a shame. Like, my hobbies included wasting my time doing nothing. But people who put time and effort into things, it was always like, oh, cool. You know, like, good for you. And it was pretty simple like that. But having really tried to put in an honest effort into something that I want to do, really kind of, I wouldn't say it changed my perspective, but it really made me appreciate all the more how much work people put into the things that they want to do because this shit is fucking hard and there are a lot of days when I don't even want to do it anymore but you gotta do it you gotta you gotta keep doing it just just keep doing it over and over and over until you die and there you go that's when you're free so just the like the sheer determination some people have towards something is quite inspiring because I like to think I have a decent enough like drive to do what I want to do but it is not comparable to some of the, the drive that other people have. Some people have a goal and they really know what they want and they, they do everything they can to figure out how to reach it. That's impressive. There are so many aspects towards the things that I want to do that I'm unfamiliar with. I don't have confidence in. Always kind of wishy-washy about it. But then there are people who knew exactly what they want and how to, and how to like, actively pursue it. And it's like, damn, man. I wish I had that amount of, like, headstrong determination. Just being able to, like, apply yourself to your interest that, that, that strongly. That's impressive. It really is. Of course, not everybody wants to become a professional. There's that as well. That's a big... That's a pretty good reminder for yourself. Sometimes people do things as a hobby. Like, just a simple hobby. But some people want to do it for the rest of their life. They want it to be... There. They want to be a professional. And that's crazy. Because if you want to be a pro, you got to put in so much extra effort for that alone. But if you're just... You know, if you're just doing it because... It's cool, then you don't have to. But you still want to be good at it, of course. Like cooking, for example. I don't think anybody expects you to be able to cook like a fucking five-star Wagyu steak, uh, like three-course meal. Nobody's expecting that out of you, sure. But 
wouldn't you like to be able to stir, uh, serve a normal, medium, rare yeehaw steak that your the family will gather around and be like, mm, this boy can grill, mm, good shit, good shit. You know, that could be your highest level and you can be okay with that because you can, you can do a mean steak. Just because you can't serve it in some hoity-toity restaurant doesn't mean you're any less of a cook than someone else. But that's as far as you want to go and that's fine. You don't got to go to fucking culinary school. Read Gordon Ramsay's book on how to stick a fork up your ass and become the greatest chef ever. You don't got to do that. And honestly, chat, I think sometimes people who don't actively strive for such an extremely lofty goal as, like, top professional have more fun with what they're doing. And at the end of the day, fun is infinite. Fun is all that matters. There is no way I'm walking further in here without going back to that. Just Bane posting. Oh. Okay. No, but genuinely, like, having fun is a good way to... It's, a, it's easier to improve when you're enjoying yourself. But when your hobby turns to work, that's not very fun. It's really not very fun when that happens. I can promise you that. So I, I kind of envy the people who don't particularly care about improving and they're just happy with whatever they're doing. And sure, it doesn't look amazing. It's not like super anatomically accurate. There's a lot of issues you could probably pick out, but it doesn't matter to them. They don't give a fuck. They're just doing it for fun. And that's fine. Good for them. Good for them. They will just kind of get better over and over time, of course. But they're not actively striving to like practice, 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 improve, right? Meanwhile, I stress over practicing all the fucking time, man. All the time. I've forgotten how to have fun. You know the episode of SpongeBob? The one with art school, where uh, SpongeBob goes to Squidward's art school, and SpongeBob is like super creative, and he's having a great time, and Squidward gets mad at him because he's not following the rules. That episode is actually pretty important about the mentality for for this kind of thing. There's obviously rules of art, but you shouldn't be bound by the rules because art is all about creative expression. Things don't have to make 100% sense in art because it's your idea. Abstract is a word, after all. We love that word. But, like, in SpongeBob's case, he just had a bunch of creativity in him that he utilized in different ways. And then, when he came back after Squidward chastised him, he started following the book and his art shit the bed because... He, was, he wasn't having fun anymore. He was doing it by the book. And then when Squidward fucking freaked out and slammed all the marbles together and, and ate one. Yeah, he ate marble. He did do that. This is real. Uh, he created an amazing sculpture. And it's like a not so subtle... Not so subtle comp commentary on the artistic process. The short answer is art is suffering. I wish to perish. Get me out of here, please. First I draw this head, then I erase some of the more detailed parts, and one, two, three, a circle uh, thingy. Don't forget the nose. Never forget the nose. I didn't buy... I mean, I did, but I'm not gonna use them because I'm a greedy motherfucker. Ice ball. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing, right? The point is... Spongebob's method went against what he was 
told to do, but the result he produced was, like, amazing. But then he followed the quote-unquote rules, and his result was not amazing. It's kind of bad, actually. I should have saw that coming. I didn't pay attention, though. Oh well. I have an enchanted doll. We're okay, they're fine. Okay. How many of those do I have left? I have four, okay. I don't really mind dying there that much. Just because, uh... I still have the memory ball. Hmm. No, where's the terminal? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. There you go. Thank you all for more for the resub. Okay, we're going back in. Okay. There was a, I don't know if it was true or not, but I read that the guy who wrote the script for, uh, for Godfather had never actually taken, like, a lesson in script writing. So, he just kind of winged it. And later on, like, there were books made that were teaching you how to be a script writer. And one of the main things they said in the book was look at the Godfather. <laughs> so I guess that motherfucker just accidentally created like a script that was so good that it, it got it got turned into a number one like read this. This is this will help you. That's kind of crazy. But there's also the argument with music theory and stuff like that, right? You know that meme of the guys on the bus? One's happy and one's sad. Knows music theory. Doesn't know music theory. Really what it comes down to is there is guidelines, understanding. There's all kinds of aspects to doing something. But these things were never needed by people to just pursue these things, you know? Like, if you want to sing, there's all kinds of things on singing, like how to, I guess, how to train your voice, how to use, you know, inflection, all these different kinds of aspects to it that go a long way. But there's nothing stopping you from just fucking singing. You don't have to follow the rules. Maybe you're just really good at, like, a natural at all the requirements. And then you read a book on how to sing and you stress over it and you lose a bit of that energy that was present. I don't know what music theory is, but it's it's like a meme. Demon armor. Defense plus 66. Just an upgrade, okay. This is one of those things that is like meme to vote. Like sometimes you study too much and things become less enjoyable. Well, yeah, the meme is probably like, just pay attention to all the mistakes in the song if you know about them. Ignorance is bliss then. A little bit. Maybe a little bit. But I do think that there are important things to keep in mind for certain things. For art, for example, one of the most important things, if not the most important thing to understand, is perspective. You need to understand how perspective works. Because it's unavoidable. But streamer, no perspective is my style. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to make an image with even a, a semi, like, even the hintest degree of realism, 
Perspective is very important. Perspective is a bitch, but it's very important. You need it. It is required. Every image has perspective in it somewhere, and you need to figure that out before you start to make the image make sense. Because you can't have... You can't be looking at the bottom of somebody's... You can't be looking at some the top of somebody's head, and then also be looking at, like, their armpit. You know what I mean? Like, you can't do that. The only way you can do that is if the camera angle is also to the side and their arm is, like, raised, in which case their armpit is up. Their armpit is... You're looking down at it. But you can't just see under their arm if you can see above their head because that's like two different perspectives. Which means you have two sets of eyes, which doesn't really work. And then it gets fucking weird from there. Hmm. At the end of the day, hobbies are about having fun. You should have fun. It doesn't hurt to learn more about your hobby so you can improve your hobby. But you definitely need to be careful how much time you spend studying versus how much you spend uh, actually doing it. And this is coming from me, somebody who pretty much only draws practice and doesn't really draw anything else because he doesn't know how to draw anything else. All he knows how to do is fucking practice. And it sucks. Why would I want to look at the armpit? It's not about the armpit itself. It's about... It's about specifically something on the body that you cannot view from the underside at the same time as viewing something else over it. For example, you can't look at the armpit and see the top of the shoulder because the armpit's on the other side of the shoulder. If the perspective let you see both the uh, top of the shoulder and the armpit, that's not even, I don't need, that's not possible. That would be really impressive if you managed to do that, to be honest with you. Legitimately, that'd be very impressive because that's just not like fucking possible. Ah, oh, you found me. Are you our recent tourist? If you wish to see our god, you have to beat me first. I didn't actually... I, I thought maybe... Oh, whatever. Analyze cube. Okay. Wind up strike. Paralyze spore. Defense ups, defense down. Quick thrusty. And fire moves. Okay, so you might actually be a problem. I didn't look at her HP stat. We're gonna charge... I'm gonna cover Jun because I heal off fire. Lower her attack. That's her defense up. It's fine. Better with the guard pierce to keep that lower. Put my defense up. Big ice ball. Lower your attack again. <laughs> 5900, okay. Good damage. That's fine. Oh, I missed Alice, nice. Good thing that doesn't count as a buff they can remove. Guard Pierce again. We're gonna help me hand Alice. Alice's gonna throw an ice ball. Sumer Echo, I want you to drop the evasion by one just in case. That's fine. That's still fine. That's not fine anymore. Up the defense. Go for a focus. Clear the paralysis. That's debuff, not status ailment. Whoops. Alice cast focus and the paralysis ran off, so in the end it was a fine option. Alright. Helping hand Alice. Ice ball. He medi. Oh, 
again. Alice. Alice again, wow. Oh, I barely did anything, man. Another guard appears for a minus two. Probably hand shouldn't for that. Just fire ice balls and gun. At this point, I'm pretty sure we're we're on pace to win this fight. Yeah, huge critical. Huge damage. Now we just beat the shit out of her. I got it. I got it, I got it. She's alone, so it's not a big deal. One more god fist. Ice ball. Ice ball. Shoot the gun. Still not, huh? Okay. It really feels like it's just around the corner. That's fine. I like when she uses that because it's not very strong. It wastes one of her turns. Alice, that shit wore off instantly last time. What's going on, champ? I think I underestimated how much damage I did to her. But I'm really confident that I will win by doing this. Yeah, see? No way. Actually, I lied. I have a partner. Her name is Mai. You must beat her as well. I'll wait for you at the gate to Pandemonium, north of Makai City. See me there if you can beat Mai. Temperature return to normal. Oh, thank God. Alright, thanks, G. Full discovery. One map. Okay. I, I've been led to believe... I now believe that... Oh, man. My dungeon is probably gonna be full of, uh, slidey puzzles. that last little bit to go and I will fabric out of here. I'm gonna restock on supplies first. Take me back to the human village. Okay. Here to buy Aeson. Let me buy. Buy two more of those. I'm gonna buy magic fabric. Did I buy energy drinks? Yeah, I'll sell them. Okay, well this is fine. And I have room for... Yeah, I can grab Mai. Mai's probably the only one in the ice place. So there's that. Alright, we're heading to the ice place now. And I don't, I'm not weak to, uh, I'm not weak to ice like I am for fire, so maybe this will be better. I see this going one of two ways. Either A, it's floor, ice puddle, ice floors, or B, it's so cold that my MP drops every turn, in which case that sucks mega wiener. Hey, I see Maya isn't here, which means you haven't beaten her yet. Get to it. Now, you know what's funny, Chet, is this is ice, but it's also what the floor looks like in the PC-98 stage. So, I guess that was ice. Okay. It's too cold. It takes a lot of energy just to move. Oh! 
Oh, would you look at that? Steven is right. Steven is only is right. Yes. MP drain is actually significantly worse. Yeesh. Well, if I get to Mai, I can kill her and turn the ice off. Which I probably should try to do. Alright, I'm taking my home. Choose what to do. Alright. My. Yeah, weak to fire. Who the thought? Actually very weak to physical, no vitality at all. And then ice stuff. What's the Akala amp do? I don't think I've gotten that one before. Oh, it's the evasion down. Right, right, right. That's not amazing. Okay. A witch with an aptitude for ice magic. Today about Yuki to protect Makai from one of visitors. So yeah, she's weak to fireball. And thankfully Hikati I can hit both of them. Alice does have fireball enhancer. Is that the evasion one? No, it's the attack one. Okay. She's physically frail, so... This will probably be easier in that regard. So, realistically, I should try to get to... I should try to find Mai as fast as possible. Just so I can turn the MP drain off and then explore without having to worry about that. So my map's gonna look messy for this sake. Sure, that'll work. Oh, man. I don't really have a way to increase my MP is the thing, so I need to find... I need to find the path to get to where I want to be. Oh, man. Free turn? Oh. I can use memory balls to just kind of reset my MP. But I think it'd be more convenient if I just... It's more convenient if I just turn off this effect more than anything. Okay. Let's see. It's like the farthest point away. I'm more than happy to deal with just a bunch of mice. Seriously. Oh. There's no cheer bow in here, chat. I, what are you doing? See, I'm not afraid of my as much as I was Yuki, because Yuki's amp increased her fire magic's power. And two of my units are weak to it. They got two at KO by that shit. I won't lie, chat. With the way I've been playing the game this entire time. Suddenly looking at my map and seeing this is infuriating. I hate this. Oh, that was the door. I don't know where I'm going. Just go as far away as I possibly can from the, uh, from the exit door. Brutal. I don't need to go crazy. 
we're good. Okay. I've been able to acquire informations. It'll be a lot easier to walk around too once uh, it's all emptied out. That's why. Oh man. Okay, surely I'm on the right pace. as I can. Just because I can. I'm getting tempted by loose tiles. Where's my exit? Where's my exit, damn it? Oh, oh my face. Oh. treasure chest. I got a doll back. That's pretty good. Temptation is rising. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Chad, I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have anything to discuss with you. I guess, um, what's happening in the gaming world right now. Uh, I saw something earlier today about a, a Ubisoft game. I don't remember what it was called, but I guess they, um, they shut it down. But when they shut it down, they also just prevented people from playing it anymore. And I don't really know how they managed to do that. Because how can you how can you do that? Shouldn't the game be like... Is the game just like always online or something? The crew. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. So what, what, what exactly was up with that? But like the game's not even playable in an offline state. Like they just they they're, they're just taking the game away. Oh, I found it. All right, we're up. It was an open world multiplayer racing game. guy trying to kill a gang with racing. Oh. Okay. What is it with these games and their love of Denuvo? Man, oh man, oh man. Oh! Feels like a crime. Huh. That shit feels like a crime sometimes with the shit you hear about it. Like, how can that shit be legal to put in a video game? Set. No piracy, kids. Chat, did you see that uh, study that was conducted? 
Or not, like, the study itself wasn't conducted, but there was a, the result was like... Like, men responded more aggressively to anti-piracy ads than women did. So if you, if your, if your anti-piracy ad was like, don't you fucking dare, more, more men would be like, bet, than, than anything else. It's kind of funny, actually. I am gonna fight this battle just because I caught him off guard. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to steal this game. But it's not stealing. It's not stealing. I ain't no okay. I'm gonna memory ball here. Set new point. I'm gonna get my MP back, and I'm gonna go back in. And I should be close enough to Mai that I can reach her. Every time I walk into this building, and it's this one who talks forever. Sale foods. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. Teleportation. Wait. I'm supposed to use the ball. Teleport. Hmm. Provide no legal way to obtain old games. Get mad when games are emulated. This is Nintendo's strongest uh, aspect as a company, if you didn't know. They're really good at that. Bro, one of these rooms is gonna take me to her. C and D lawyer where the general asked him, how do you find games to C and D? No, but I imagine his answer was not good. And the lawyer goes, oh, it's thanks to you guys. You guys being Kotaku. Ooh. How do you follow up on that? Found you, bitch. You have some nerve to show up here. You want to see our god? Don't answer because I won't let you. Alright, I'm going to light you on fire now, child. Fifty-four hundred. Guard pierce, ice moves, attack up, liver punch. You can punch me in the liver. Classic fucking move. Alright, I don't actually have an attack up, so her putting me on attack down is going to be annoying. I'm not terribly scared of her. Okay. We'll garb pierce her. Defense back up. Fireball. Attack down. Liver punch. That's very much. All right. It's a 
defense plus two at that point. Throw a fireball. Use focus. He met him. Okay. Imagine how much cooler this boss fight could be. I mean, Cherno isn't the one casting high level ice magic. Why am I paralyzed again? Oh, I'm not paralyzed again. I tried to heal my paralysis with the character who was paralyzed. Because I'm an idiot. Alrighty. I mean, she can if you just give it to her. You can give her the ability to do that. Guard Pierce. Fireball. Now they're desync. That's annoying. Okay. Actually, the desync is kind of good because now I can help in hand them individually. Like this. Keep her alive. Ow. Ah! Hmm. Oh! Come on now. Okay. Fish. Punch my fucking liver! Okay. I'm pretty confident I'm okay in this position. Might be a bad idea, but it's we'll see what happens. I really wanted that to hit me actually. <laughs> Alright, we did a little flippy. We did a little flippy. Problem is I gave her defense. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Hmm. 620. Okay. I think I think it's fine. It's a little silly looking right now, but I think it's fine. not gonna wake up, huh? That's fine. Because I believe in Judd. 
I believe in you! Oh, you woke up. Good job. Getting punched in the liver. Oh, okay. It's a pretty good way to become paralyzed, I guess. I think I'd really prefer you to be dead. Pretty, please. Huge crit. Yeah, there you go. Easy clap. Hmm, you might have what it takes. Still, I won't let you go to Pandemonium just yet. I have a partner and the gate will only open if you can defeat the both of us. I'll wait at the gate to Pandemonium assuming I have to be my partner. Temperature return to normal. Yeah! Yeah! Now look at this absolute shit show we have going on here. Well, let's get started. Huh, this is so much nicer to navigate. Okay. I like how I walked in a snowflake pattern. Fun. I'm going to kill you, if only because it gets me some MP back. Just a little bit. Spent most of it on her. I barely have any MP. I could memory ball out. But... It's fine. I'll walk the walk for a little bit. Hmm. Man, oh man. Now, aside from that chat, uh, I don't really know what else happened. Because ultimately, what I did yesterday was after I streamed, I got food. And then I watched... I watched Vinny play a video game, and then I went to bed myself, and then when I got up, I went to work, and then when I got home, I ate, and now here I am. So that's been a complete rehash of everything I've done. Very exciting, I know. No crazy adventure. Nothing worth updating. Just the average everyday life of me. Is that why you're here? To hear about what I do every day of my life? Well, right now the weather is very bad. Your back hurt. Now what kind of hurt was it? Was it the kind of hurt that signals uh, gain? Or was it the kind of hurt that signals age? You need to figure out what that pain was. And then crush its balls. This is a very important step. That was a one-way door, wasn't it? That I just walked through. to happen yeah me too well I need to get myself on it there's something I want to do tonight but uh, I'll pro I hope I can do it and then I'll be setting a good course for uh, the future I think I am pretty tired though but like I said I need a uh, I need the optimal sleepy. Optimal eepy. For maximum musculase recovery. Because I have to do all that shit tomorrow. And my arm is going to not enjoy that if it does not recover. I haven't even done the full routine yet, man. I'll tell you what I do. What I actually manage that full routine. Let me tell you something, chat. Lateral raises and rear delt flies, those are hard. And the fact that the workout plan says to do a minimum of 15 for each set was insanity to me because I could barely do them at all. I, could, I couldn't do it. 
It was too hard. It was so hard. It hurt. It hurt so much. Ah, oh, these Sarahs are blocking two of my attacks. Okay. amazing how much like I like the way it looks and the way I navigated it kind of showed off the design in the map without actually exploring every room so that was cool I got to see kind of the in true intention of the map before I uh, turn it into one big giant square again for that juicy juicy absolutely fucking chump change amount of money of course because uh, you know i get more money by i get more money by like five encounters in than i do uh, other like just what i'm doing here oops i'm fine the dungeon itself isn't like breaking my ass or anything like that. I've effectively cleared both of them at this point. But I'm a sucker for 100 percent Not using that map item, no. Map items are for chumps who can't stomach the idea of exploring the whole map. You ain't gonna catch me using such a weenie item. Nuh-uh. What's nice about this is now I know which way to go, so I know which way to, like, veer off the path every time. Okay. You only want to see me use a map chat because it validates you. Because you use the map. If I don't use a map, then I'm better than you. Source. Me. And you can't stand the idea of the streamer being better than you. So that's why you constantly try to get him to play the game your way. Not because it's basic fucking no sense to use the item that helps you out of the situation. It's all one big power trip to you. I don't think I don't know your game. I, I know your bullshit all too well. Wow, he's so good. You are cruising for a promotion with that brown nosing, my guy. I'm trying to get a promotion. Stop hitting me with ice attacks, please. I know that's your entire claim to fame, but please stop it. Ow. Ow. I'll have to give myself a promotion. After all, I've earned it. Metal face, the fuck? Wow, so good, so good, so good. Hmm. Egg bullets? You mean Cheetos? I know my because she's a bitch. Her most defining characteristic is that she is not a good friend. No streamer, she's misunderstood. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I understood exactly what she said. When Yuki exploded, she called her dead weight. When Mai exploded, Yuki was like, How dare you, that was my friend! It's, it's pretty easy to see the dynamic here, and it doesn't make me happy. I feel bad for Yuki. Yuki. Yuki thinks they're cool, but Mai is just... Mai just can't get rid of her. I don't know why Mai keeps her around, stringing her along like that. 
What if they are friends and Maya's just like naturally a bitch? What if Yuki is completely aware of it, but Maya's just so lonely that she sticks it out for her? Because that's what friends do. But Maya is still just an awful person. I don't want to believe that Yuki is willfully ignorant. Well, maybe not willfully, but ignorant to Mai's attitude towards her. Maybe she's just trying to get Mai to warm up to the rest of the world. I mean, she is an ice queen, you know? So there's that. Why do I keep fighting the Ellie Brigade? I do not want to fight the Ellie Brigade because they do shit like that! fabric out of here when I get back. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just walk a bit. I could fabric at any time. So here's the thing. Anything we know about Mai and Yuki comes from what we see from them in their stage. That's pretty undeniable and also obvious. But like, if they were to ever get anything more, then maybe we'd see a little bit more about why Yuki is the way she is. And believe me, I'd like to believe that she is, like I just said, she just has a hard time making Quen because she's just a bit of a, a curt asshole. And Yuki's just trying really hard to, you know, help her make friends with people. But we don't know that. We can believe that, but there's no confirmation nor denying the situation. But Mai's not exactly a character that people care enough to debate this kind of thing, huh? I think for most people, we just, uh, we just call her a bitch and move on with our lives. That seems like the easiest way to go about it. I slightly appreciate that door's existence right now, but not in the moment I walk through it. Both Mai's are forgettable. Well, that's not true. I don't think Mai herself is forgettable. I just think she's a character people rather forget or just don't care about because, you know, she's mean. People don't like mean characters. I mean, they kind of do, but she's not She's not the kind of mean that's good. You know? She's not the kind of mean that's good. She's just mean, mean. Alright, back to the first floor. I think this is the same layout I did. Yeah, this floor got messy. Oh. Where am I going? Full heal at my disposal. And would you look at that? Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, never mind. They threw. They threw. 88 Sumireko. My Sumireko is jack, dude. You wouldn't talk shit about my Sumireko. Oh. I was like, where the fuck am I going? See, it sucks, because I think my design and the whole idea of the fire and ice, like, demons is cool. It's just my personality isn't very... I don't like it. That's really what it is. I just don't like it. I'd rather her be, like, 
bubbly bub bub friend with Yuki than treating her like that. But because Yuki is so like intertwined with Mai as a character, you kind of she's kind of held back by Mai in that sense. Like if you really don't like Mai but you like Yuki, it's hard to do anything with Yuki without including Mai. But I don't want to include Mai. Unless my story is literally about just Yuki Yuki being told that Mai is a bitch and avoiding her and then maybe Mai has finally realizes that Yuki was her best friend and maybe she's less of a bitch now. And that's what we call a happy ending. What do you mean I'm toxic? Most people who are toxic don't seem to realize they're toxic. Which is crazy. Why is everybody avoiding me? Is it because I'm toxic? No, it's because everybody else is toxic. She just want everyone to be all hugs and kisses, huh? No animosity. All right, I'm gonna humor this because there's nothing else I can do. But I'll say one thing about this subject. Yuki considers Mai a friend. So, so much so that when Mai is defeated, Yuki gets mad. And gets, you know, gets mad over it. But then when Yuki gets defeated, Mai does not give a single fuck. So yeah, I do wish they were a little more hugs and kisses. Because then they'd be, they would actually be friends. Because you get a little too, you get a glimpse into the ugly truth about their relationship when Yuki explodes first. It's not good. That's not a friendship. What they have isn't friendship. Crazy. Why? Why is he always so toxic to us? Now, to be fair, you guys earned it. Alright? You've earned my animosity and hatred through years of being here. So pat yourself on the back. The ultimate blizzard in terms of attack and defense. Every day I see you, I hate you a little more. Until eventually I can't contain it. And I summon the unstoppable Exodia. And blast you into the stratosphere. Hatred is power. Look at how powerful I've become. I owe it all to my seething hatred over those who watch me play video games. I mean, common psychology suggests that people who give people money are usually more like than uh, the people who don't give money. Just thought I'd mention that. Actually, you know what? Speaking of that, this is kind of funny, chat. This is kind of funny. I'm, this is not... Before, before you hit me with this bit again, oh my god, streamer greedy. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Alright? No, this is what I'm gonna say. I think it's funny that in some chats, in, 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 well, not even some chats, in a lot of chats, you can really tell which motherfuckers are living on gift subs and which motherfuckers paid for their own sub. Legit. You can tell. I think that's funny.
just goes to show what it means to earn something and how when something falls on your lap. You don't understand the value of it. Do you have any idea how valuable it is when you have a sub badge next to your name in this chat? Because I don't. Feel free to tell me. Maybe you can figure it out together. Four years of page chatting and yet no respect. I do believe I just read your message out loud. Which is like, that's pretty peak as far as streamer chat interaction goes, wouldn't you say? Like, that kind of thing only happens with a crisp fiber. Never happened otherwise. Hmm. I did it. I explored the whole thing backwards. Angel wings. Oh. Improves evasion. Cool. Not bad. Okay. I still don't want to fight Ellie. Shouldn't I be nicer to people who give you money? I am. What, do you want me to come over and give you a fucking jobby slobby? Like, hello? We're all, we're all, we're all good friends here. Thank you, little big child, for gifting the sub. I treat everybody with respect until you give me a reason not to, which... Spoiler alert, sometimes people are very good at that. Just so you know. <laughs> Thank you, Yo-Yo, for gifting a sub. I got a, I got a heal. All right, here we go. We gotta open the gates to pandemonium. Let's do it. Really? What do you mean, really? Huh? I mean, it's true. There are a lot of times where you see, chat, this happens all the time. You see someone on, in your daily life and maybe you don't like them very much. We're all here. Let me the pandemonium if you can beat us here. Ready, Mai? Prepare for trouble and make it double. Okay. So are you guys any different? No, you're the same. You might actually be kind of troublesome, though. Okay. Let's attack up. Let's defense up. Okay, I got my turn. Huge damage. Woke up. Good. Oh boy.
I can't stop the attack up. Well, I mean, I can now. Fuck, that hurts. Maybe I put Hakati on healing duty. Ugh. That's good. Uh... Flipping this would be really good right now, actually. I'm gonna flip it. That's good. That's really good. We're gonna flip it now. That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. Okay. If I kill, if I kill Yuki here, it'd be very nice. Stop the defense from going back up. It's okay. Huge. Put my defense back up. This ice ball hopefully is enough. Keeps you alive at all costs. If I the attack slowly back up, my defense is at minus two. I need to fix that. Which we will. Okay. Hopefully this is it for you. Come on. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. Still alive, man. You're still alive. You need to die. Oh, there goes all my buffs. my MP here at this point because I really feel like she should just be dead at this point come on come on that's impressive that's impressive Jesus! Okay. Now you. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, she shouldn't be as bad, I don't think. Now I can control the situation and redo the fight. Basically what I did just a second ago. Alright. Okay. Guard Piercer. Helping hand. Fireball. Keep her attack down. I don't have to worry too much about weakness. 650 is good. That's a thousand right there. So another couple set of turns of that is great. Okay. Okay. That's still fine. Didn't ailment the didn't ailment the uh, important ones. Um we'll go God first. Fireball. Gun. Okay, she's up. Okay. Okay, that's another clean a thousand. That's good. I got MP to burn for this. The focus goes through, I can get rid of that. got her anything in there. Okay. Let's go for a raw god fist. She might wake up on the next turn. Okay. Fireball. Gun. Good crit. It's definitely less than halfway there. She's awake. 101. 209. 302. That's a little scary. Okay. Big hand Alice's fireball, which she doesn't have enough MP for. <laughs> I did not pay attention to that. Okay. Alright. Er... Uh, in a bit of a pickle. I still think it's fine, though. Yeah. It's still fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Good. Pandemonium hasn't seen any new visitors in a long time. Say hi to Yumiko for us, will ya? Hey, open the fucking door and get out of my face, chump. heal me. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the terminal real quick. And I'm gonna buy some of the stuff that makes my life easier. That's what I'm gonna do. Right now. Okay. 
Oi, 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 that fight was slow and painful, but I won. Okay. Uh, passive, more SP from any action. Let's get that. Prevent enemy party from acting this turn. Lower evasion, defense. I don't use these SP commands. Game SP when defending. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. There's probably an achievement for buying all these. Yuki cannot be fused with Mai. Impressive. Alright, let's see. Can Yuki and Mai be used in anything magical here? Whoa. Whoa. The answer is Yugimagan, Yumeko, Shingyoku, Sariel, Kikuri, and Shinki, who's level 97. Oh my god. Whoa. She's got a lot of cheap shit. Dude, she's got debilitating aura. She's got 95 intelligent and 95 magic. Man, what are you? Creator of Makai claims to be a god. It's unknown if that claim is true. Bears resemblance to the six winged fallen angel from the Bible. That's a weird note to make. Okay. <laughs> you know what? She's weak to Alice. And she's weak to Gun. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter that her intelligence and magic is 95. Yomi Amp steals MP, Fireball, and Ice, and then Piercing. Praying Stance, which is whatever. Debilitating Aura is annoying shit, though. Magnum Shot, okay. MP Share. Oh, you're defensive. Okay. You have... Huh. You are just so much better than me. You know that? That pisses me off. You're not. You're basic. Fuck you. You have 10 magic. Okay. What do you do? No agility and electricity. Wow, surprising. Okay. Can I look at my friends? Let me look at my friends. Alice, what are your stats? Jun, you have 87 luck, 65 strength, 27 vitality, and 43 intelligence. You stupid bastard. Alright, Hakati, what about you? 73, 73, 39, 18 magic, 50 agility, 32 luck. Alice, what are you? You're bad too! Man, my units are really bad, but they're winning, so who's who's the big meat on town right now, huh? Hmm? I'm the big meat today. <laughs> I'm the winner. Yes. Oh, wait. Who needs this most? 80, 80, 78. We'll answer that question. Here, Alice. I want you to eat Yuki and Mai. Consume your sisters. Become stronger. Super Alice. Okay. Purchase every available upgrade at the terminal. Yeah, got an achievement, baby. Alright. What will I do? Teleportation no jutsu. Well, first let's go into Pandemonium to see what's going on there. That seems like a fun idea. That boss fight took a lot of time. <laughs> there are a lot of units down here who have much better like stats than me. But I have the rule. The war of attrition can be won. And I did. I won it. Fire and ice. It got weird. Okay. So this, this is the second last anomaly in the game. It's 
It's been a while since a human last stepped into Makai, that is, and even made it to pandemonium where really Shinky lives. I'm Yumiko, and you are the trash I am going to take out. Maya and Yuki said hi. Oh? <laughs> I am way past the level of anyone in Makai, except Lady Shinky herself. I will chase you down to the ends of the earth. Step inside if you dare. Okay. Got ya. Now disappear from our God's sacred place. Oh, she actually just kicked me out. She's right on top of me, but I can't see her. What's she doing? Ah! She knows everywhere to go. She knows everything. Sorry, you're kind of freaking me the fuck out, girl. For la 790 HP. Yeah, she throws swords. Did you know that? Hijack successful. Party member. Alright. I can only hijack one of them. Ow. Well, perfect. Yeah, you're mine now, champ. Oh no, I can't. I didn't have room for one more. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. You're kind of fucking insane, girl. Holy shit. No agility, no strength. Just 79 across. Look at how strong you are. You're like... Wait, aren't you better, Hikatia? Like, aren't you just better than her? A six point angel with Makai shares a name with the Archangel, but it's unknown if it's the same being. The demon made her serve Shinky and Makai. Shinky claims it's her strongest creation. Okay. Okay, well This is the name of the game You can't catch me All right, I'm here to steal you Too easy He's a K. Party member. Yeah, yeah. So obviously Shanky's in here and Yuga Magan is in here, which means I need to clear up some room. I'm gonna walk around until I find another dead end though. Oh, you blocked that. Hurt. Ain't nothing I ain't used to, bitch. You're never gonna catch me. Um, I should probably pay attention to what I can hit you with. You're weak to pierce. You're not weak to pierce. You're weak to fire and ice. You block pierce. You're weak to electric. All right, that's information that I have conveniently decided to forget. Sorry. I have forgotten. That healed her.
Ah, uh, that didn't break her praying stance, huh? All right. Oh. I was gonna walk until I came into a dead end. I, that's enough out of you. Doesn't matter. How is that praying stance still active the whole time? Oh, you Miko, you suck. Well, never mind. I'm the winner. I'm level 90 now. I'm the greatest. Yeah, Squidward! Alright, so I guess this is gonna be the level. But it's okay. Yeah. I don't think I missed anything. No, I've been everywhere. Okay, let me just go to the terminal real quick. Register them. I can. There's nothing stopping me. Cleanse. Satisfaction is disappears sooner at the end of the turn. Poison has a chance to disappear by itself. I don't even know what to give you. Like, I don't even care to give you anything. Like, you're fine on your own, champ. You can have this, I guess. I can't change any of her skills. What? All right, whatever. She got a full skill set. Hmm. Amazing. Mom's home. Alice, your mom's home. Secret E takes all kinds of nonsense, huh? Tenshi and Lily White. Ron and Moon Rabbit. Yumiko and Mioi. I. Yeah. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Fucking sure. I don't know. I don't even care. I'm gonna create the moon. a good way to free up space and now I'll have them in the database I made the moon hmm anything else you get Magan is like the only one left what do I need for you Singyoku and Unzan Ellie and Moon Rabbit that costs way too much Saril and Soika Yumiko and Yukari my fucking milk money, man! Unbelievable! I'll do it. She's got a uh, Hizani Azani strong fire. Yeah, sure. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna spend the money. There's like everything I can possibly make. Ngumagan is now yours. Yo. I have racing already. I have racing? Do I? I don't even remember that. Alright. That's everything. That's everything. Database. 100% completion. Alright, hold on. 
I have to go tell Nitori right now. Nitori, I solved it! I solved it! Now give me everything for free. Every Tuhu character. You've done it, the database is completed. Computer world. For now, you have the whopping 90% discount on downloading sleepers. What, you expected more? Sorry, we're running a business here, not a charity. Thanks for the database. I must say, even after all the brute force, we can't create a single sleeper of our own. Whatever is running that sleeper program must be supercomputer among supercomputers. 90% discount. I got all of them. Every single sleeper in the game. We sleep. And now I fly. Okay. We're actually almost done this video game chat. Can you believe it? Yuga Magan. Five eyes connected by mysterious energy resembling a woman in a kimono. A large bronze disc with a person inside. Not much is known about it, but it appears the person inside is wearing modern clothing. You can tell that? Right. Mom. 742 MP. Like, why would you not use her? Why would you not use this broken ass fucking character? He says as he's clearly not intending to use the broken ass fucking character. That's okay. Take me back to pandemonium, please. Okay. Buy endgame sleepers and fuse them into Alice. Yeah, you can do that. You can buy them for a very cheap rate and basically fluctuate my levels to match Sumireko, which I probably should do when I get further in, but I'm okay right now. I'm okay right now. We're gonna stop. Hmm. Uh, yes. This is the final dungeon, chat. I've been using this team of four, uh, this team of four idiots since, like, I was able to make Joan at level 41 or something. Now Sumireko is level 90. The team has not changed yet, and I have not properly wiped to a boss since. I have, I have, I have beaten every boss first try with this team. I've died a couple times with some accidental misplays, but ultimately my team is so good that I just cannot wait for it to get absolutely boondongled that's a word by the boss of this one the final boost we'll see